And it's Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio in Dallas at the famed Cotton Bowl, where Army will play in the Zaxby's Heart of Dallas Bowl tomorrow. You get a chance to talk to the voice of Army football. And uh, that is Rich DeMarco. Rich, great to see you. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Oh, same to you. Really, really excited about this game coming up against North Texas. Absolutely. Well, uh, just we've got to go back a little bit. Uh, your call of the end of the Army-Navy game was on almost every media that I could see. And uh, what a moment w that was for you. What, what are just some of the top moments for you of the Army-Navy game this year? Well, the end when Army was able to pick up that last first down and then be able to run out the clock. I think that was when you know you could finally relax and know that it was going to be a win. Of course, Ahmad Bradshaw's touchdown, which ended up being the game winner with six minutes left. And memorable moments, a lot of them in the first half with the Army defense, forcing turnovers, getting a couple of quick scores. And it was, uh, it was a game that was, that was hard fought, memorable game. And, and probably the best feeling is all the Army football fans around the world being able to celebrate in that, whether they were at the stadium, rushing the field, or following from wherever they are to have that win, which was so important for the program. Absolutely. Certainly uh, the, the biggest win since I've been following Army football the past 10 years or so. And, uh, wow, uh, to watch them sing second and uh, have the whole – I was standing in front of the Corps of Cadets, and uh, they were all rushing by me to go out on the field. It was just a moment. I, I described it as just a jubilant moment. Uh, what, was your, what, was your, uh, what was your remembrance of the postgame? Just the, the cadets, everyone just kept pouring out onto the field. And I think one of my favorite sights was about – 25 minutes, 30 minutes after the game, we're still doing our post-game show on the radio, and there's still people on the field, really, everywhere on the field, that just flooded with whether it's cadets, fans who made their way uh, down to the field at M&T Bank Stadium. So not only the initial rush to the field, but how folks were there for a long time savoring that moment. And I'll tell you what, there, there's going to be a lot of big wins to come for the Army football program. I'm not sure if any will quite match that one on December 10th. Well, it certainly was a great moment. I found myself uh, standing next to uh, Brigadier General Pete Dawkins uh, after the game, and I had a chance to chat about uh, – and he said how sweet a day this was uh, for everybody in the Army program, and uh, seeing General Milley address the team and uh, the Chief of Staff of the Army. Uh, and, and what I really liked was what Coach Munkin said about this win is for all the troops out in foxholes around the world. Uh, just uh, a great moment. Uh, I know you've had a chance to uh, talk a little bit with Coach Monk. What, what was his uh, feeling about uh, uh, the whole day? I think to, to what you said, it's really for all the Army fans around the world that are following wherever they are and the, the, the players, the teams that have come before this team. You know, he's really clear that you know, this, this team shouldn't carry the weight of, of the last 14 years. It was the 2016 Army team against the 2016 Navy team. But the fact is when you win a game like this, the 2016 team really represents all those other teams that helped build up to this point. And I tell you, the victory was great. But, you know, this big game coming up, this bowl game, you know, you got to follow it up, you know, come back from that and a, and a big game and a chance to pick up eight wins on the season, which I know is very important to this program. And certainly a rematch from a game on October 22nd at Mikey Stadium where uh, North Texas uh, prevailed. A game, uh, you know, Coach Munkin said to me that there were a couple of games this year that he'd like to have back and have another chance at. So we, he, he got his wish on, on the North Texas game. Uh, what are your thoughts? Um, you know, uh, North Texas has struggled towards the, the second half of the season. Uh, but uh, they're a good team. They've got some size. They've got a huge left tackle. I think when you look at that, that game, seven turnovers for Army, you can't turn the ball over that much and, and expect to win a ball game. And the running in the second half, Jeffrey Wilson just was as good as any runner Army's seen this year against them in the second half. So I think those two things are, are two great things to, to start working on, say, hey, you need to be better in these two phases. Can't turn the ball over and got to stop the run. Did a good job in the first half against North Texas and Jeffrey Wilson, not so much in the second half. So – if it's going to be a bowl rematch, I a lot of times think maybe the team that lost during the regular season, I don't know if I'd call it an advantage, but at least they have tangible things they know they need to work on to turn that around. So hopefully that could be used as a positive uh, heading into this game on Tuesday. Absolutely, and, and, and an amazing venue. Just so we'll look quickly out at the uh, Cotton Bowl Stadium. We'll uh, hopefully be out on the field tomorrow for our uh, pregame show, do, doing some streaming video. But uh, what is it like? Uh, what's your sense about how the team has practiced this week? They've been down here since Thursday. 
and some of the amenities. I know there's been a lot of nice hospitality extended to the team, and uh, but they got to get set to play football at uh, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. I think when you look at it, you know, bowl games are rewards for, for a season where you earn the right to be there. And, you know, Jeff Munkin's been really clear, Army not only doing it with their performance on the field, but also when they were slotted into bowls, the team's APR rating had a lot to do with it. So it's what also the team did off the field. Uh, you just look at the couple of weeks since the, the Navy game. Army had a chance maybe to enjoy that game, the win over Navy for a couple of days. They went through exam week and then really uh, had a couple of days then came right back down here. So really able to refocus to – uh, you know, coming to this game, playing this game, and have it, you know, far enough away from that Navy game where, you know, the, the focus is, is, is straight on North Texas. And you know, the practices have been spirited. There's a lot of guys getting reps in these, in these practices that, you know, are younger players that are players that, you know, with, with the team, you know, out here, an opportunity to, you know, get some extra practices you don't normally get to. So it's really a win-win, a bowl game. On, on so many levels. You get more practices, get the young guys some more work, you get a chance to play in another game, another opportunity, and for this Army team, a, a rematch of the regular season game that I'm sure, you know, when you look back at this uh, season, there's a couple of games Army would like to have back that North Texas won, definitely one of them. And just mention, if you would, the radio network that uh, fans across the country, in some cases around the world, will be able to hear you broadcast the bowl game tomorrow. 19 station network across the country, also available on the TuneIn Radio app online at GoArmyWestPoint.com. Radio stations in the New York City metropolitan area, flagship stations, WBNR 1260, WLNA 1420 out of the Hudson Valley. We're also on the air in New York City, 970 WNYM out of New York City for the bowl game. We had been on 570 WMCA during the year. We're moved to 970 here for this bowl game, so we hope... Uh, the Legion of Army fans, wherever they are, can listen on the app, online, or across the radio network. Hey, that's great. Uh, Rich and Marco, so, uh, congratulations on, on your call of the, of the uh, end of the Army-Navy game. And uh, really, best wishes, and I uh, look forward to seeing a great game here tomorrow at the Cotton Bowl. Well, thanks, Ken, for all you do covering the Army football team. It's great seeing you out there at all these events, especially down here at the bowl game, and looking forward to a good one here at the Cotton Bowl. Absolutely. Rich, th thanks so much for your time today. And this is Ken Kratzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas.